What it do? What's crack a lack and kim folks? You guys don't know what the hell that means, right? <laughs> I'm from the South, that's how we greet people. Represent, you know? Man, I can't be fucking with these New York chicks, man. They too direct, I can't. I need to return to my roots, find me a wholesome woman. So it took me a while, but you know, I found somebody and you know, I did the stuff that y'all do that y'all afraid to admit. You know, I stalked her on Instagram and Snapchat and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then I found out that she, uh, she goes to a coffee shop. So I posted up at the coffee shop like I frequent the place. You know what I'm saying? I was like, give me a double shot of latte, grande, whatever. I don't drink coffee, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, you come here often? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I landed a date with the wholesome chick. Word. I'm in there. But then comes time for me to go out on a date with her. I stood her up. It was bad, I know, boo, boo me, let me have it. But it was not my fault, kinda not my fault. I was otherwise disposed because I got arrested on the night that I was supposed to go out on a date with the girl. So follow me on this cautionary tale, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. I'm driving on the Lower East Side, I get pulled over by the police. So I was like, officer, is there a problem? He says, Mr. Slade, I'm gonna need you to turn the ignition off, give me the keys to the vehicle and step outside. And then the officer proceeds to put his hand on his side arm. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment it dawned on me that me and the officer have a different idea of what a problem is. <laughs> because this right here seems problematic to me. So uh, he's like, uh, sir, you have an outstanding warrant because you were talking on your cell phone while driving and we're gonna have to take you in to see the judge. I say, I'm getting arrested? Yes, sir, we are taking you to jail. So I got my shit locked up behind me, right? My, my, and I'm in the squad car. And what I forgot to tell you guys is that night I was wearing a schoolhouse rock t-shirt. <laughs> so then, when I get to the jailhouse, the officer is looking at me funny. And I'm looking at the people in the jail cell that I'm about to go in, and the officer was like, why would you wear a cartoon shirt to jail? I was like, bruh, when I woke up this morning, I didn't know I was getting arrested. You know what I'm saying? And then, to make matters even worse, the shirt was a character of the verb, the dude that's the verb character, so the, the shit said verb at the bottom. And he was like, well, why would you even wear a shirt that says verb on it? Now, folks, now, this is the moment I had to process, because everybody in the jail cell is listening. So I had to let these fools that know I ain't no punk, but I'm here wearing a grammar shirt, you know what I'm saying? So what am I gonna say in this moment? And I and hey, I came up with some genius shit. I said, I'm wearing a shirt that says verb on it because I'm about that action, nigga! <laughs> Chest poking out. But it did not have the desired effect that I wished because when I went into the jail cell, not many of those fellas knew what the function of a verb was in the first place. <laughs> and then I got smart. I said, I'm gonna start trading my cheese sandwiches for some green apples. I was like, yo, I'll give you two of my cheese sandwiches for two or three of your green apples. And then they heard my accent and they were like, yo, son, where you from? I said, I'm from the dirty south, fool. <laughs> and they was like, oh, okay, we gonna call you big country. Oh, shit. I've been in jail for three hours, bruh. I already got a jail name. Let's do this, player. Let's do this. I'm in the game. I'm, I'm goddamn Morgan Freeman in Shawshank Redemption. And as soon as I got comfortable in that joint and folks understood who I was, they let me out. God damn it, I saw freedom. <laughs> but I have been institutionalized. <laughs> but then they gave me my cell phone back and it had the messages from the girl that I stood up. You know what I'm saying? But they, I'm thinking I've been in jail so I ain't even paying attention. 
I'm like, I'm about to go look up a tattoo parlor so I can give me a little teardrop tattoo right here. <laughs> I'm about to go book some studio time so I can make me a rap album because I got street cred, biatches. <laughs> Voicemail say, also, I can't believe you stood me up. I didn't know you were stalking me on Instagram and Snapchat. I thought I really was gonna like you and you were a good Southern gentleman and you stood me up and she whining about this and whining about that. Then I thought to myself, man, this broad didn't even write me when I was locked up. <laughs> I was like, I can't deal with no wholesome chick. I need me a New York chick that's ride or die that can fuck with a dude like Big Country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I'm out of state. Thank you very much. <laughs>